builds with the Analyst Battle, but it's going to come down to really big how well can Naomi peel for him? How well can they stack that CC and protect him throughout that mid phase? Well, I'm just wondering, you know, with this that last pick from Falcon, if we're going to take a trip to Hook City again, because uh, Hook City. the Hook highlights, City. man, that that guy had, it just seemed unreal. And I know RQ is probably prepared for that. And I like the Melissa pick as well, because we actually saw this yesterday, the interaction that that ultimate provides, that micro decision, and a lot of times turns the tides for those team fights, especially when we're talking about lately we've seen so many under turret plays, whether they're looking for the sandwich angle or they're just trying to collapse down on a tier one turret even. And that's crucial, you know, if you have that in your repertoire basically to work with it. And the Melissa is that great pick, but still, I was talking about CC from Falcon. RQ, Ko RQ Hoshi has great CC as well, but we are loading up into the land of Don here for the first series. A nice position here, but in comes Albert. The appraisals wrapped up lands down, and Ken's able to take the turtle. Nice pick, but the battle does still <laughs> pursue. Albert goes down, Vin may just be next. Caught in the middle of four. That is another kill for Ken. Put back, has some more uh, life still here, but R7 trying to go in against Ooh. Ken. Unfortunately, he's getting too low. The venue just popped, but it won't be enough. That is huge, but Albert wants to keep on pushing it. Ken gonna switch positions, but he's taken out by Clay. This could be bad for Albert, though. No, they find Naomi. Albert goes down to Justin, but now Justin trying to escape. Can't quite make it. The Brilliance comes out. They're on the chase. Wild Charge comes oh. in. Yellow Flash goes down, and so does Justin. Yellow Flash actually still up. Ends up finding Clay there. Does land on him in there. In comes the suppression, but then able to get out, respond to the wild charge, and down goes Naomi. Ken will be next. It's a two for zero trade, a double kill going to the side of Clay. Shit, but Vin. Yeah, Vin's gonna try to come in, use the conceal play. Justin, though, here to help. Nice suppression onto Clay, will get wild charged up. Justin using one of his own. Now Zipex gonna try to catch some distance. Oh, and that ooh. passive off, but Albert moving on to Justin here. Decimation locks in, and down goes Justin. Up so many times now, and it, I feel like that success rate is really apparent in the XP lane. Oh, Vin will bite the bullet there. Yellow Flash trying to move on to Clay there. Will use Brilliance to get out. Falcon now taking cover over the turtle pivot. Albert trying to make it in. Oh. Will take the turtle. A beautiful retribution. Hook does land on to Skylar. Skylar trying to get away here. R7 now getting on to Zipex. Zipex goes down. Clay in a very bad situation. The taunt comes in. He finds him, but the battle still pursues under the purple buff. R7 trying to get them down. Albert will fall. A nice pick overall. A th Falcon loves to start these lords first. Try to push them in. Ooh. Wait a second. Naomi locks on. Vin takes a lot of damage and the stolen wild charge. Vin goes down. Albert now trying to lock oh. in the back line. Naomi goes down. Albert on the run though as Ken and Justin try to chase. Yellow Flash on the boss side trying to lock on to Clay here. Clay does get stunned. Will get stunned again. But Yellow Flash is just here to delay. Albert finds the backside though and locks down Justin. Zipex taking a lot of damage. R7 finds him. This could be bad. Ken now moving on to R7. It's a bloodbath, boys. Clay goes down. Overall, three for two still, but a fight still perceived. Making oh, play onto oh, it. Nice play, too. R7 gonna finally go down. You're fast, but not fast enough. Ken now. Here comes the concealed play. Watch for Naomi. They're gonna claim over this Lord Pit RQ force to back off. Zipex holding the back line. Getting some oh. nice shots off. A lot of damage on the bin. Zipex finds it. Skyler using the go away along with the brilliant. Oh. Doing a lot of damage, but he's taken out by Justin. Clay will fall. Next, it's a four for zero trade, and the Lord will go to Falcon. How are you, man? They just don't know where to bend. This is a concealed play, trying to find someone, or maybe just trying to create some space, but Falcon doesn't oh. want to give it up. A nice hook does come down. Vin tries to survive, but Zipex takes him out. R7 forced to retreat. Justin falls, though. Clay able to capitalize. This could be bad. Skyler moving in. Yellow Flash goes down next. Albert finds it, but Naomi then finds him. This is what we call pushing the tempo. Another hook, but R7's still gonna press it on. Oh, he wants to keep pushing Zipex. Can't get away from it, R7. Man, this joy is online. Ken and Naomi forced to retreat. Clay with his back, but R7 keeps on pushing oh. under two towers. But the hook comes in. Falcons trying to trade kills, and they're Vin. going for a fight again. Oh, that is a big resource wasted. Vin trying to get the wild charge down. Suppression does lock on to R7, but he may be able to escape this. Oh. as a shield. He's not trying to escape. He wants to find a kill, and he finds it, but he pays the price. Yellow Flash is going to lock on. He's sitting on top of Albert right now. Ken goes down to the back side. Skyler finds a beautiful angle and now they're gonna disengage a two for one trade to the side of the hooks just don't seem to be enough right now 
play will take the Lord. Yellow Flash will get knocked up. Vin gonna go oh. down to the Immortality, won't survive that one. Yellow Flash, though, is on top of Albert here. He's gonna try to back off, but Skylar found him. Locked on, Yellow Flash forced. The fight's gonna ensue, oh. but it looks like it was taken, taken by, Ken. by Ken. But then he gets knocked up. Will go down. Skylar starting out put a lot of damage, melting down Yellow Flash as well. Justin trying to escape here, the rest of the team on the wall. Solved, or even Naomi. Yeah, Naomi tries to lock on to Vin, but once again, he's using it on the tank. Immortalities will pop. Ken will go down. Naomi now on the run, but R7 doesn't want to let it happen. Back onto the river, though. A little bit of a fight ensues. Skylar going to chase down Justin. Justin goes down. Yellow Flash looking for Clay, but the Brilliance comes out and stops R7. the Zipex. Goes down R7 all the way in enemy territory under the base and just can't go against R7 now. They are going to focus on the Yellow Flash. That is a five-man wipe. The Immortality does pop. Tries to use the Winter Truncheon. Don't think he's going to get away from this one. RQ will move on to the base. And that is it for game one in a best of five. You can hear the crowd as RQ takes first blood in the series. It was a back and forth between these two teams setting the tempo, but eventually RQ Hoshi comes out on top. What a wild play style, man. Every time you think that, wow, they made a mistake, they lost four members for nothing. The next fight, they just come in and wipe the whole opposing team instead. It's just such, such a random situation, and Falcon, you can tell that they're just confused. What the heck did they do here? I mean, R7 on that Joy, though, definitely a big thorn in their sides. R7 was deep into the base. <laughs> you saw actually the mm -hmm. whole game, R7 was everywhere. You know, and I, I feel like that's the thing about Joy and why it works so well, especially when you park it in the side lane like that, it just causes havoc. I mean, Arashi, you called it. You know, you called it in the draft. And just like, there's the pendulum, right? The pendulum is swinging between these two teams.